What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to answer your questions that you had. On my story, I had asked if you had any questions about Tecoteru or any other products that are on my website. I'm here to answer those questions for you. So let's just get right into it, shall we? Okay, so the first question is, can you take the root and control capsules at the same time? So this is my bottle of the root, that's why this is opened. But these are the control capsules and then this is just the tecote root. In just root form, this is the capsule form. So you should not take these at the same time. These are basically the same thing. You can take the other products with this and you can take the other products with this, but you shouldn't take these together because that's just too much product that's too much of the same thing basically so no 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 you shouldn't take these together number two what do you do when you hit a plateau i've been on it since 2018 and i'm stuck so i actually just did a whole video on what to do if you're stuck in a plateau so go ahead and watch that i think i go for like seven or eight tips on what you can do to help with the plateau my big thing is to take a break after you've been taking the root or the capsule for more than three months or so if you feel like you've kind of like stopped take a break for like one to three months that's what i've always done and every time i come back i'm always able to lose weight and lose fat after it so that's only one tip and then my other tip out of the seven or eight was to start incorporating exercise and to start eating healthier because as we're losing more fat sometimes it's the capsule or the root itself is not just going to be enough to help us lose the weight we're gonna have to add in some other activity some other products like ganim to help kind of kick it kick that plateau but i would watch the video because there's some other helpful tips that you might find useful number three how bad is the detox is it like so bad you have to be near a bathroom i drive for work so that's a good question everyone is super different so it's hard to say how you're going to react to the supplement for me personally i didn't have a good diet at all i was eating like shit i was really overweight so when i took the supplement i was really detoxing like i was really detoxing <laughs> during the detox which was i probably started a week or two after i started taking it and it lasted for like one to four weeks i was going like probably a few times a day um i was trying to drink a lot of water and i was near a restroom luckily so it honestly depends on you what i would recommend is drinking a lot of water trying ganim which let me grab it so this is Ganim. This really helps lower your detox symptoms. It also helps not have the issues of going to the bathroom as much as if you weren't to take this. It really is helpful with lowering your detox symptoms, including soreness, hardness. I mean, this is really good because it has a lot of potassium, so it helps make sure that you don't experience the low potassium symptoms, and it also lowers the other detox symptoms that you might experience. So if you're worried about that, I would definitely start taking this with it, as well as alkaline because this helps get rid of toxins quicker and makes you feel better quicker so i would definitely recommend that if you're worried about it because sometimes the alpotec shits can be kind of rough they can be and i can speak to it because i did experience it but also if you are worried about it you could just take it every couple days see how you react to it and then um, once you get more used to it you can take it more regularly can i take it at night so yes i mean I, it's best to take it after your largest meal so if at night you mean after dinner then that's totally fine it's not like something that's going to keep you up or anything like that i personally like sometimes i'll forget to take it right after dinner and it's like 11 p.m 12 a.m and i randomly remember and then i take it then so as long as you take it after you have eaten like a decent sized meal then you're good number five when will i see the difference can i see it on the scale or no so this is a question i get a lot when will you start noticing a difference for me i didn't start noticing a difference until maybe one and a half months I remember specifically on the pamphlet that I received when I first started taking the supplement, it said to give the bottle, which is three months, give the full bottle before you start noticing any difference at all. So I think that was really helpful because I had zero expectations for anything the entire three months. I did weigh myself after like three weeks of taking it and I think I had only lost like three pounds. And I remember being like very neutral, like I wasn't upset or I wasn't really happy about three pounds but then in perspective i was like wow i lost three pounds for not changing anything except 
for taking the supplement because I always had an issue of overeating. So for just taking the supplement and I was losing some weight, that was like a big deal to me. It's hard to say when you'll start noticing a difference because everyone is really different, but the difference that you would notice would be in fat loss. So that's why I always recommend taking pictures, measurements, noticing how things are fitting you and your clothes. It's possible you will see a difference on this scale, but not everyone does. It really depends because some people who, if you're not a water drinker before and we tell you to drink a lot of water, they'll start noticing that if they're tracking just the scale that they're starting to gain weight, but that's because of all the water retention. So that's why I like to say not to pay attention to the scale at all in the beginning because it's really irrelevant, the weight on the scale at first, even though it's we like to keep track of it. It's an easy way to, to reassure us that it's working, but we just have to stay away from checking the weight on the scale because it could discourage you if it's not showing what you want it to, or if you're not losing as much weight as you're expecting to. So it's possible you will, it's possible you won't. There are some people who I have before and after pictures you can see major fat loss between them and they have maybe lost no weight or five pounds, but if they had only tracked the weight the entire time, they probably would have stopped midway and given up because they weren't thinking that it was gonna work. And that's why I say don't pay attention to the scale at first. Number six, do the pieces matter? Like if it's small or big to determine the poopy emoji. So for me, when I first started, I was told that if you wanted a larger detox, you should you should take the larger pieces first. And to me, I feel like I notice a difference when I take the larger pieces versus the smaller pieces because I don't, to me, it's, it's more product, but now I'm hearing from some people that the the piece doesn't matter, so I'm having a hard time. I can only speak to what I, I've experienced for myself, but at the same time, when I first started, I was taking the smaller pieces because in my head, I was like, okay, it's gonna be easier to lose weight now. I wanna save the bigger pieces for later down the road when I've already lost weight and I've gotten smaller. And that seemed to work for me at the time because I was kind of consistently losing fat and losing weight after a certain point. I think it was after like the one and a half mark. I would say at first, maybe to start with the medium pieces, medium to large pieces, unless you wanna go with the route that I did. As long as you're taking one a day, you're good. You are good. Yeah, and so, I mean, I feel like when I was taking the larger pieces, I was noticing like a bigger effect, I guess. I'm not sure if it was just like in my head or not, but I felt like I, like I would go to the, to the bathroom more. I would feel like less hungry, but I'm not sure. I, f I feel like that's how I felt with it. Is there any signs behind that? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, seven, are there any sales coming out soon? So they really don't tell us until like the week of. So I will of course let you all know of any sales that come through. Those who follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, those are people that kind of hear about it first. So if you do follow me on any of those, you'll hear about it when it comes out, basically. Not sure yet. Eight, I seem to have gained weight, any idea why? So this, what I spoke to earlier. So those who are tracking your progress and you notice some weight gain, that's most likely due to water retention and water retention is due to low potassium normally. Or it could also be due to you not being like being a water drinker before and now you're all of a sudden drinking a lot of water and now you're starting to retain it you're starting to get a little swollen because of it that would be because of that so just make sure you're not paying attention to the scale too much i promise you're not gaining fat it's not fat that you're gaining and that's why the scale is really not an accurate way to keep track of everything at least in the beginning because of that specifically so uh, that's that's all that is really it's water retention um, just make sure you're still drinking a lot of water and make sure you're getting enough potassium. So if you're struggling with potassium, I always recommend Ghanim. Ghanim. And also alkaline helps a lot with water retention because it gets rid of the toxins and everything like that. So how much is it and where can I order? So the root and the capsules are $60. They last three months. Ghanim is $20 and this lasts... Well, there's 90 capsules, so it depends on how many you're taking. You should be taking one to three a day. However many you're taking kind of depends on how long that'll last. The alkaline, this is $12. This should last you about 40 days. And I have other products. I have the golden ELV and then collagen. So this is $20 and this is actually really good. So this helps if you have any inflammation, um, if you have issues with your digestion. This is just something that you would mix in a smoothie with water 
or like milk and it's actually not what i expected it to taste like like it's actually sweeter and it's nice to mix into smoothies so there's that this is 20 collagens 25 this helps with the growth of your nails hair skin if you're losing weight a lot and you're kind of getting rid of everything and you're having issues retaining vitamins and minerals it kind of can help with the regrowth of that so there we go also all of this is on my website with all the prices and information on each one in direction so how do you go about having to use the restroom every day and so often if you go to work slash school so that's a good question basically those who are working all day go to the go to school all day what is what i hear works really great for clients is that um, if you take it after dinner and then the next morning you can kind of try to get it all out and then during the rest of your day hopefully it'll be a little less obviously it's not guaranteed i can't control when you're gonna have your bowel movements or anything like that but from clients who said that they have to work all day that seems to work best for them so you can always try that also like i've been saying drinking a ton of water and you can try gani because that helps lower your detox symptoms so those would be my recommendations for you okay can you go on to your workout and meal plan and how long it took you yes so i lost most of my weight without dieting or working out and that was just from taking the supplement it helped me eat a lot less it helped eliminate my fat and i got from 221 pounds to 185 pounds just by doing that i didn't go to the gym i didn't diet it helped me eat a lot less as someone who always had a problem with overeating and then it's lowering my appetite it's lowering my cravings that was enough for me to help me get down to 185 just by doing that i kind of was taking it on and off was kind of going up up and down from that that weight and then i started going to the gym in like 2020 i remember specifically i started working out at home because it was kind of like covid time we couldn't go into the gyms quite yet um i started walking i started doing home workouts and then i started going to the gym when we could do that yeah 2020 was when i first started working out meal plan right now um i show a lot of what i eat on my tiktok so definitely go and check those out i don't really have like a meal plan per se i am trying to eat more protein plant protein because i'm vegan because i am tr like building booty you know all that and you have to make sure you eat a lot of protein but for example in the morning i would have maybe like just egg which is just like a vegan egg with some toast that's what i had this morning with mixed in with some veggies for lunch i just had like this vegan quesadilla with beyond sausage and some veggies on the side and i had like a matcha latte i'm gonna go to the gym soon so probably gonna have a protein shake after that i also had a protein bar and then for dinner maybe like a pasta or something with rice i've been trying to get, have protein with every meal if possible but it doesn't happen all the time but mainly i'm just kind of focused on trying to get my protein intake in to get that dumpy but yeah um i would say just making healthier choices if you aren't really sure right now and not restricting yourself i think that was the big thing for me when taking the supplement um versus whenever i would try to go on these like weight loss journeys before is that i'd always cut out this cut out that i'm not allowed to have any dessert for this amount of time i can't have carbs for this amount of time you know like and that just never was sustainable for me and then taking the supplement all i had to do was just eat a little less like i was just eating less but i was still eating everything that i wanted to eat so that just helped my mindset a lot so i really really recommend not cutting anything out of your diet but just kind of eating a little bit less of those things but still enjoying everything and that will just help you make it just a lifestyle change and not something that maybe you'll lose 20 pounds in, in two months but then you're just gonna gain it back later on you know and that's just that's not what we're going for here is it normal not to feel symptoms the first month or see changes very 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 normal yes and as long as you got the the right supplement like you bought it from an authorized distributor then i wouldn't worry about it and i say that because i have some people who will say i don't see any results and then be like oh i bought it from amazon or something like that and so it's hard for me to say like if you have the right product or not so i can't really give you recommendations at that point because i don't know if it's because you have a fake product or you're just not who who just isn't experiencing any detox symptoms at first and it's going to take you a little bit longer so anyways make sure that you have the right product and you bought it from an authorized distributor if so everyone reacts to the supplement very differently 
not everyone experiences those detox symptoms and they still see results. I have a bunch of friends who never experienced the detox symptoms I experienced and then it still helps them lose weight. And especially in the first month, I wouldn't even expect changes in that first month. There are some people who see it like almost instantly and there's some people it takes them going into the second bottle to start seeing results. So everyone is just so different. And also make sure that you're tracking progress in the correct areas. So you're not just tracking the scale, but you are keeping track of your measurements, you're taking pictures, and you are kind of thinking about like how, how your clothes are fitting you right now. But yeah, I wouldn't say you should really see much of a difference in the first month. I would really give it the first bottle before you really see anything. And again, there are some people that it takes them going into the second bottle to really start noticing a difference. So I would just keep that in mind. It can be very, very slow for some people versus it could be instantaneous for others. It just really depends. Everyone is just so different. Everyone eats differently. Everyone's at a different weight. Everyone's different height. So I wouldn't compare yourself to anybody else. I started two weeks ago and don't see no results. So please, please give it more time. Like I just said, it will take time to see results. And that's why I don't really like to give a time frame of when you should start experience or start seeing results. I never said two weeks would be when you start seeing results. I never would say that, but that's that's why I don't like to give expectations because if you expect to see results within a certain amount of time and you don't, then you're gonna feel discouraged, you're gonna stop, you're not gonna think it's working. Versus other people who have zero expectations, they take it for going into their second bottle and they start finally seeing results. They're grateful because they didn't they didn't give up on it because they weren't seeing results up until that point. So like I said, everyone's really different. Um, I didn't see results after two weeks. I've now lost 50 pounds with the supplement. So I would definitely give it a lot more time than that. Give it the full bottle, which is three months. See where that gets you, as long as you're consistent. And then you could be the person who also needs to start taking it past then. But two weeks is a little too early to notice that. What side effects come with it if not taken with potassium? So basically, what are the low potassium symptoms? Some really big ones are headaches, nausea, dizziness, numbness, like tingling in your in your body. Those are, I'd say, are the, are the most common ones. Constipation can also be from low potassium. Heart palpitations are from severe low potassium. Feeling, oh, feeling really tired is also a big, a common low potassium symptom. Feeling fatigued, low energy, and also muscle cramps. Those are some big ones. So those are just some things to be aware of. They are not fun. They are not fun at all. I remember when I first started, I didn't really, they recommended to eat one to two bananas a day for potassium and I was thinking I was like it's probably not even that big of a deal it's a big deal okay I felt so sick from low potassium I had to stop taking the supplement because I just felt horrible like I couldn't get out of bed I was so tired my head was throbbing and I felt nauseous it was it was not fun not fun at all so if you if you don't feel like you can get enough potassium through food which is possible if you eat foods that are high potassium you don't need to take any other supplements for it so if you don't feel like you'd be able to get potassium consistently through food, that's when I would recommend taking Ghanim. I would recommend taking Ghanim anyways because it really helps lower the detox symptoms that a lot of people are kind of complaining about with the soreness, hardness, going to the bathroom frequently, like it helps lower those all a ton. And it has a lot of other benefits, but if you don't wanna take another supplement, then you can always just eat foods high in potassium. But that is a big thing. Just make sure you are eating foods high in potassium or taking a supplement while you're taking the root or the capsule because it's just so important, so important. Okay, and the last question, are you still taking Alipotec and how often do you take it? So I, I do take it and I'm kind of taking it like really randomly right now. I don't know how to explain it, but for maintaining your weight, you want to take it like every two or three days. For me, I I don't know if I'm necessarily wanting to maintain my weight. Like I wouldn't mind losing more weight, but I think right now I'm just kind of taking it every few days because it helps my cravings a lot. Like I have a serious sweet tooth to the point where I could eat like, I could eat chocolate all day if I, if I really wanted to, I could, especially during my period. So I'll take it like every two or three days and it just helps with my appetite a lot still and it helps with lowering my cravings for everything because I'm just 
right for some reason right now i'm just like not good about taking it every day mentally like you really have to like put yourself mentally to like remember to take it every day sometimes yeah i've just kind of been taking it like every now and then just to like help with my appetite and cravings and and everything like that but yeah when i am on it i will be i'll be good about like taking it every day for like maybe like two months or something i'll like lose weight and then i'll just kind of like take a break for a little bit and then I'll start taking it again every day. But right now I'm just kind of taking it like every two, three days. So yes, it's my go-to honestly, because your girl likes to eat. Your girl likes to eat. And I have a problem with controlling myself sometimes. So anyways, that was all of your questions. So I really hope that answered them. I hope that you got some clarity on some things you're confused about but please let me know if any other questions you might have and follow me on my socials because because you'll see me there more often honestly and that's basically it i love you all so much i'll see you next time bye